You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now back to TSPN News with Tom Slavik. Comprehensive news because in today's world, you need more than just sound bites. TSPN streaming on the World Wide Web and on demand at TSPNTV.com. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. I'm with Bill Braun. How you doing, Bill? One more um, time. You know, uh, very interesting stuff because, you know, before they had, uh, I was looking back to see if we were seeing a picture. Before they had steam, you know, they probably had to use just animals or kinetic, mm -hmm. you know, meaning like uh, let, the, let the log hopefully roll down the hill, get in the, uh, uh, the river, the water, uh -huh. and uh, float to the next place. So... This really allowed allowed people to move into the forest in ways that weren't able to do it before. Right? That's right. It opened up whole new areas. And then when you tie the railroad in with it as well, mm -hmm. uh, you can get, become very efficient at uh, you know at uh, harvesting wood. It became the heyday of logging with steam, and it was a precursor to today's logging methods. You know, which okay. are highly more efficient than they were. In the steam era, these are so much more fascinating. Oh, well, I know, see. I know. It, isn't it great? Looking That's at what keeps stuff? my interest. Look at this. Uh, yeah, there you got five guys standing on top of a log with a steam donkey off to the right, and the spar tree is just to the left of that pole, that log. And that's where the cable goes up through a pulley and comes down. Okay. And they're suspended that log from those cables with big tongs. You know, I'm not quite sure when I look at this, like uh, how how a pulley on on the tree. You know, isn't isn't bringing that log into the tree? So they, it, how did it? You know, well, they you know, would have. Too bad we don't have a picture of the top. But anyway, let's let's. Uh, those cable systems were complicated. <laughs> okay, maybe this is where they got the ideas for all those cartoon shows and stuff of uh, complicated things. So let's move to another uh, picture here, Tommy. What do we have next? Okay. Okay. Now I think we're. This we're is last year's the, fair. Uh, yeah. Into the. 2011 fair. This is our steam boiler at the sawmill at the Amador County Fairgrounds. Okay, and this is a good place to start because this is where it starts. This is where it starts. This is where we heat the water, turn it into steam, and send it off to the engine room to turn the engine to make mechanical power for the sawmill. Okay, and what are we looking at next, Bill? Uh, this is a picture of looking through the flywheel of our Corliss steam engine, and we've nicknamed her Bruno. That was the first name of the gentleman who started the manufacturing company, Bruno Victor Nordberg, okay. in the uh, 1880s. That's and a this, nice shot. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Shows one of our young volunteers on the other side there. All right. And, uh, you know, of course, we see all the apparatus, all the mechanical yeah. uh, linkages that are, mm -hmm. that are going on. Yeah, that's, that's part of the valve gear for the steam control on the engine. And mm -hmm. it's very sophisticated for its time. It's a great place just to sit and watch and talk, as these two yeah. gentlemen are doing. Uh, that's me on the left, and that's Joe Harrelson on the right. He's a retired professor of mechanical engineering, one of our volunteers, too. Okay, so that's what you look like from the back. Okay. <laughs> All right, and uh, everybody's familiar with this. And, you know, I was thinking that even if they have this, you know, at the, at the uh, fair aid, the uh, celebration out there, I was mentioning to you, I said, I, I don't think people get tired at all of uh, coming out to the sawmill and watching that thing work at all, do they? No, they don't. In fact, uh, there's a lot of uh, men that come out there and their wives have to drag them away. And then they, <laughs> then they sneak back in there. And, and then they sneak back <laughs> yeah, off for the next show. Because it's, fa it's fascinating <laughs> to watch the equipment uh, moving. What do we have next, Tommy? Okay, that's another view. And uh, this is one of my favorite angles. This is one of the redwood logs we got donated last year that we cut. And what happens to the wood? That you, uh, well, uh, uh, last year, uh, let's see, was it last year? The year before, we donated a bunch of lumber to uh, the Amador Recreation Agency. And they used it in their projects at the various parks around the county. Okay. And those logs came from Sierra Pacific now, Industries. Bill, when did, when did you get involved with uh, the fair and uh, the sawmill? You know, when, what, how long ago? It was about 1991. I just got back from the Gulf War, and uh, I had bought myself a piece of steam equipment and wanted to demonstrate it, so I wound up bringing it down to the fair with a bunch of other guys that had equipment, and one thing led to another after and, that. And, <laughs> Here and, I am. And expanded it along. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is a great shot. How often do you uh, sharpen that saw blade? A couple times a day. A couple times a day? Yeah. Makes it a lot easier? Oh, yeah. The old sharpen yep, the saw yep, adage? Yeah, yeah. Depends on the wood. Some of it dulls it up faster than others. 
Okay, and uh, this, this is a shot we're looking through. Uh, into the engine room. And this is, uh, this is a lot of the, uh, looks to me like some of the building that's uh, been upgraded from my first days at the fair mm -hmm. back in, uh, what was it, 87? Yeah, we started, like we started constructing that engine room in there and we upgraded the main bu mill building too starting about 06 okay. and 07. Well, let's uh, hold on this picture because a lot of these people, this is a, you know, uh, they have a special duty that everyone's doing mm -hmm. right there, right? Right. That young man there in the tin hat with his hand on the lever, his yeah. left hand on the lever, that's a young man by the name of Jake, and he's learning to be the Sawyer. That's the Sawyer's position. The regular Sawyer is the big gentleman on the right there just kind of stepping away off on the edge of the picture. And the older gentleman with the large mustache, that's Jake's father, Jim. And he's the setter. He's the guy that sets the works on the carriage that moves along. Now, why the name the Sawyer instead of this? Is that a well, way of saying saw? This is a saw. Sour? Yeah, he's the one that controls the saw. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, the logs going through the saw. So he, it just morphed into Sawyer. Okay. And let's, how about the next picture? Okay, that's a different picture there. But you see now Jim on the carriage. Okay. He's the setter. The, I'm sorry. You see the works there, that shaft with the gearing and the lever right. in his hand? That's how he advances those knees forward and then that put, places it in line with the saw blade and then they cut certain thicknesses depending on how far you move okay that. but put that in kind of english i understand a little bit. he's he's actually moving that log to uh to find out what dimension i mean to move that log uh, into the saw blade alignment and then it right. travels through the saw and cuts off a certain thickness depending on how far he moves it right oh well, yeah there you go and that's just the sawdust coming out on the end of the conveyor dropping into that trailer. And that was kind of a new addition. When did that, uh, I yeah, mean, we took they always old, had sawdust, but. We took an old trailer and we just boxed it up with metal framing and plywood and okay. to catch it all. And the uh, fair uses that as uh, uh, sawdust we, through yeah, we use the it, fair? We use it uh, scattered around the mill for footing and also it's used in the fair and also it's just given away to people too. And for the animals and stuff like well, that. Well, some people like to take it home and use it for like mulching. Mm-hmm. Be good, good there. going so, back in. I'll, let's see a few more pictures. That's an old 1920 Sullivan air compressor we rebuilt two years ago, and we hooked it up to the sawmill for showing that running in between shows. Oh, the okay. Sawmill. Okay, so this that that one didn't a, have a job at the at the mill. Yeah, it compresses air, but it's just okay, just for show. Right. And uh, this is a nice this is picture a picture of, of the 1904 Corliss engine built by Nordberg. And it shows the connecting rod going around as blurred there. Now, is that a big flywheel? Something Seven foot like in diameter. Okay. It's not big by Corliss standards, but it's big for everything else. <laughs> sure is pretty. This is the crew last year. As you can see, it's young and old and uh, from all walks of life. Okay, do you know uh, any of those people? Can you, uh, well, well, you name there, some? You, can you name them guy. There's that guy that's got his Austin, Texas shirt on. That's Austin Ford, okay. local resident. And, of course, me, he's down in the front there. The guy to the left with the brown bib overalls, that's Alan Hyatt All right. from Plymouth. Tommy, how much time do we have? Five. Okay, all right. And there's a few others. There's Jim and Jake over in the extreme So we have right. plenty of time. You want to talk about some yeah, of those people and then, that are uh, there? Yeah, now, how do these people uh, get in contact with you and uh, wind up doing this? Will they visit the fair? Or how, how do well, it's, it's like that guy right behind me there with the blue bib rolls and the check shirt, Alex. Mm -hmm. He's a local firefighter, and he just came in one day and wanted to help out. Okay. And that's the way it started. Okay. So, uh, and the other fellows came, a lot of them came through the early gas engine and tractor club, which, which uh, shows right near us. Okay, so year. now we're looking at... Uh, this is our flyer for the, this year's Expo. We're holding it in conjunction with the Fair Aid and Home sh style, home and Lifestyle Show. On, uh, we'll be there June 9th and 10th. Okay, so that's uh, going to be great and a great addition to the fair. Uh, will we have to wait for the fair itself to see the small engines that come up on the and, and show there in the... Uh, oh, well, no, the Edge and TA is not going to be there, but... Okay. Uh, we're going to have other demonstrators in there with their steam engines. So. Okay. Are the uh, demonstrations going to be going on uh, how often? All day. We'll, we'll actually start probably before 10, but 10 is the official start time. And we'll be running till the evening. Okay. Now, have you hooked up a steam whistle or anything to the Oh, there'll be a whistle there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, <laughs> tell us... Always uh, have to have a whistle. <laughs> tell us... Uh, 
what people can look forward to when they come down there. What you know, what the kids really love that, don't they? Also yeah, they do. Seeing, uh, well, they're going to be. We're going to have a couple of people uh, serve as docents. They'll be people will be able to go up to them and talk to them, and they'll give detailed descriptions up to the level of the person asking questions, okay. how much information they want. Okay. Now Tommy's out there uh, running the show, and of course you know me and Tommy, we we, we kind of get a little special treatment out there. We generally talk to you oh, or somebody, yeah. and I don't really know what kind of happen <laughs> what what kind of happens from everybody else's point of view, mm -hmm. but they're. Uh, People are talking, telling people what's going on, and, and can they hear that? Yeah, uh, we usually try to do the talks between the shows. Okay. When everything's a little quieter and the saw is not going through the logs or there's not a lot of machinery running, you know, uh, when things kind of quiet down. So, yeah, and uh, also there'll be two guys or two gals, whoever it may be, be walking around mingling with a the crowd. There'll be volunteers, and they'll, they'll have some brochures with them and be able to hand those out and then answer questions. Okay, what are some of the questions that you get? What's one of the, some of the main oh, questions? Oh, one of the famous questions is, what's that? What, what's that? <laughs> yeah, right. That came and from then the uh, four get, or five year old? Well, no, adults. <laughs> the 45 year old. Yeah. Yeah, it could be five or 45, yeah. Okay, there was also, there was an interesting uh, engine that was down there uh, that was kind of a square engine. I don't, you know, uh, yeah, that was a uh, square pistol. That was or? made by a company called Dake. They're still in business. They don't make those engines. They're in hydraulic equipment now. But they date back to before the turn of the uh, 20th century, in the or late 19s, to through the early 20th. And they uh, built this engine, we call it a square piston engine. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a, it's a couple square plates inside of the pancake housing mm -hmm. that move in a circular direction and connect it to a pin that turn a shaft to come out of the housing. But you can call these two plates inside, I guess, square pistons. They just don't go up and down a circular bore, that's all. Okay. So it kind of throws people when you say square piston engine. They envision something else. But then once they, they see it and explain to them, they usually understand. So. Right. Okay. So... Uh Let's tell everybody once again what, what the dates are. It's going to be Friday, June 8th, June 9th, June and, 10th. Right. That's and for the full agenda. We are only going to be operating Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Uh, the home show and lifestyle will have the preeminent start on Friday. Okay. Because they bring in so many uh, vendors to show their wares. Okay. And that's where the real uh, draw is to start with. So All we're, right. So we're, we're coming on here Saturday and Sunday to help the fair raise funds. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we're about run out of time, and uh, I just want to thank you for coming by. And you I, bet, Tom. you know, and I couldn't help but notice the uh, gleam and the glint in your eye when you talk about these things. Oh, you yeah. just love these things, don't you? Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I do. I do. Okay, well, you'll be out there playing. Uh, come on out and meet Bill Braun, and uh, and uh, just be fascinated by the steam engine and the uh, the sawmill. It's a it's a great great thing, and I uh, want to. Thank everybody for watching TSPN's News In Depth, and we'll see you again next time right here on TSPN.